actor who has already starred in four Hallmark films, but this is his first time joining us here in this Yay. house from the new Hallmark Movies and Mysteries film, A God Wing Christmas. Please welcome Paul Campbell. Okay. Welcome, Paul. Oh. I made it. You, you made finally it. made it. I'm here. It. It took you four movies, my Before friend. You'd I walked from Vancouver. That's you why did? it took me. Well, I walked the whole after way. After you, you so made that water? effort, we couldn't yeah, say no. no. Yeah, I could use some. <laughs> it was a long walk. I do, I do have to point out the yeah. fact my very first Hallmark movie starred this guy right here. So it was called Window Wonderland. Yep. You and Kyla Lee, back in the day, there we are. Oh, there we are. And I had a very different hairstyle. We were kids. Yep. Not sure what this happened there. This was your first Hallmark movie, Cameron? <laughs> yeah, that was well, my first Hallmark well, movie. That, that was mine, too. Paul, was it? Yeah. Well, then I, I, I think it's safe to say that you're responsible for Cameron's career I here. I think it's the only thing we can say here. <laughs> yeah. That's the big takeaway. I'm pretty sure. I'm waiting on that 10% cut. <laughs> Shifting gears here a little bit. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, easy way to get out of it. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Godwin Christmas. Uh, this is a true story, which I think is really interesting, based on a couple that kind of find themselves coming together uh, because of a few, in a sense, sort of nudges yeah. in the universe, or Godwinks, as we call them. Tell us a little bit about uh, Gary and Paula. Uh, Gary and Paula Conover are the owners of the world-famous Charlotte Inn in Martha's Vineyard. Okay. And uh, this is their love story. It's, uh, they... Uh, Gary Gary left his life of finance behind and moved to Martha's Vineyard to buy the Charlotte Inn. And uh, he restored it by hand, and, and he set up his life there. And and, uh, and then Paula arrives. She's an aspiring uh, antique shop owner, and she arrives. And, and there's a, a series of sort of increasingly aggressive circumstances that keep right. pushing these two back together. Right. Uh, and, and it's ultimately about how they find each other. And, right. You know. And you can't deny these things that keep pushing them together. It's I mean, obviously meant to be. You can kind of deny the first ones. Like, they're sort of gentle nudges at first. Right, right. It's like, hey, guys, here you go. And then right, my, my work here is done. Okay. All right. Here you go. Okay. All right. Wake up, you two. Come on. That's what I love you. It happens like that sometimes. That's the progression of the skip. Me too. Yeah. It happens in my life. Yeah. So we have a clip of um, Gary... Explain to Paula why potentially moving to Martha's Vineyard and starting over is the right thing to do and is a good thing to do. Take a look. You know, it's funny. People always talk about how beautiful this place is, but they always end up missing all the little things. Like foghorns? Like foghorns. <laughs> and how seeing things a different way can change the way you look at them. Mm. I saw this my first night on the island. Mm. Now, it wasn't Christmas, but all the lights on the waterfront at night just kind of made me feel like everything would be okay. So you stayed? Yeah. It's like I'd found another piece in my puzzle. Aww. There he is. By the way, he's really sweet. You're such a good actor. Yeah, you're uh, very good. You. Yeah, you really are. Thank you. I'm just yeah. Saying. He's thank waiting you. for you to say the same. I, I, wow. yeah. No, it's okay. Just let's just hang. Oh. Let, let I don't want it to be forced, awkwardly. you know. I mean, <laughs> you're also a very good-looking man. Wow. <laughs> let's just move on. <laughs> we should hug. go on forever. You should see what was happening behind the scenes. This is hysterical. So Kathy Lee Gifford, yeah. um, another member of our Hallmark family, which we love so much, yes. also is in the movie, and she plays Paula's Aunt Jane. Mm-hmm. Um, she's one of the nicest people, so unaffected. Yeah. Can you tell us what happened when you lost her on a ferry? <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. What happened? How do you lose KLG? I, How do you lose We did. Different? Uh, we were traveling back from the, where, where you saw the little island setting there. We were traveling back on the ferry, and Kimberly and I had gotten on from a separate <laughs> vehicle, and we saw Kathy Lee get out of her vehicle on the car deck, and she kind of wandered up the stairs. And then we wandered up onto the passenger deck, and we were looking around, and we're like, where, where did Kathy go? Like, <laughs> we, it's, just the, it's, it's just a crush of people, and Kathy Lee has wandered off somewhere, and we're like, Mom and Dad are going to be so mad at us. Where did Kathy? We lost Kathy. <laughs> and uh, so we like look around. We spend about 20 minutes looking for Kathy, and we finally end up at the front of the boat. We, we set up shop, and we're like, if she's any, she'll probably find us here at the front of the boat. And we were so nervous, and then all of a sudden we hear this like, yoo-hoo! And we turn around, <laughs> and Kathy is walking toward us with a cafeteria tray piled with french fries. She's like, I got french fries! 
I, she She's had been so standing hot. in the line of the cafeteria for 20 minutes waiting for these french fries. Wait, I, yeah, and she's like digging every, and she's just passing them out. When we heard the story, what did yeah. you say to her? I said, that is so Kathy Lee. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, she, she really is. And was down on the ground, and she just wanted to get fries for everybody. Yeah, and chatting around. with everyone it. in the line. Yeah. Right. She's like, I know what we need. We need french fries. I'll go get them. <laughs> And her character, and the Kathleen's character in the movie, is the one that kind of defines what a God wink is. It's not yeah. necessarily a voice uh, from God that we can hear, but just a little wink or a nudge, right, uh, guiding us in, in a certain direction. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people can relate to yes. that in sure. our lives, things that have happened. Yeah. And how about you in your life? What stands out for you that might fall into that category? I've, I, I think I've been pretty fortunate. I've had a lot of God wink moments, mostly in retrospect. I look back and think, oh my gosh, of course yeah. that's undeniable. Uh, probably for me, the, the biggest one is how my son came to be. It was, uh, mm. it was, it's incredible. So my, my wife oh, and I, uh, we spent a couple years, had kind of a bumpy road trying to get pregnant. And ultimately we were told if we wanted to have a child, we'd have to have a surrogate. Right. Oh. Um, someone else carried the baby. So if you're a baker, it's our bun, someone else's oven. Exactly. <laughs> you know, that's how it works. So, uh, in Canada, they have strict rules yes. about surrogacy. You have to volunteer. And it's not as easy as you'd think to find a stranger to volunteer 10 months of their life to carry your baby. So we signed up for this service called Surrogate Finder and, and it's intended parents that wanna meet surrogates and potential surrogates. And we kind of exhausted all possibilities. It was mm. like mm. 15 women that we reached out to and it just didn't happen. And we, you know, it was really disheartening and we kind of gave up hope. And then we moved back to Los Angeles. And uh, when we were in Toronto, we had started a foundation called the Sunny Day Foundation. And when we moved to LA, we'd sort of put it on hold. And one day my wife, suddenly she was like, I'm just gonna check the emails for the Sunny Day Foundation. And there was an email from this woman named Erin who had read months before, read our profile on this surrogate finder website. And my wife had mentioned this foundation and she, she didn't have any contact info for us, but she oh. emailed the foundations like info wow. line and she said hey if you guys are still interested oh my, my husband God. and i that was so meant to be would love to talk about carrying <coughs> pardon me carrying your baby and and uh, and example. they did yeah. you and know. now kingston's two and a half years old he is and the he's, love of my life he, i mean he's one of the cutest little boys i've ever seen and, <laughs> and i understand he's you so I mean, look at that, that picture <laughs> you swoosh him. Oh, and i know he goes man. on location with you a lot yeah. he was just recently on your movie sun sand and romance in Mexico, yep. and he's developed an interesting new hobby. He has always aspired to the <laughs> custodial art. Uh, and uh, we, we, were, we had a few people over uh, after a long day of shooting, and uh, Kingston woke up in the morning and saw the mess on the patio, yeah. and he was like, this will not do. No. So he grabbed a broom and he walked out and my wife and I obviously have a responsibility as parents to make sure that our son does not have tan lines. So we're yes. like, you can go outside, but you will not wear clothes. <laughs> and so it resulted in him sweeping the patio naked as a jaybird. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know where I he mean, got that pose from. And by the way, he looks wow. like he's pretty excited about yeah. it in that particular photo as well. He knows I, how to work it. He yeah, knows, yeah, it. I mean, that's impressive. Yeah, that's, that's the shot. Yeah, that's so that's cute. That's the oh, shot. How adorable. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, that's thank you. Yeah. 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 Congrats on this film as well. Thank you. Congrats and your Kingston. career. Thanks very much. Since yeah, we thank first you. worked together several years ago. I owe you credit as well. Oh, that's so sweet, Paul. Thank you. Very generous. A Godwin Christmas premieres November 18th at 9 p.m. 8 central on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries.